Hey guys, we're back with the second update on the, uh, the ER-1. We got the machine guns painted and put together. They're not real super detailed, but uh, they're not too bad for, for the age of the kit, and they'll work. Um, we used uh, black and gunmetal for them. Then we started painting the, uh, the main body parts. I used uh, craft acrylic. Uh, lipstick red and licorice black to mix up my color Send it out with a little future and sprayed it through the airbrush and everything turned out real nice on that um, Played out real smooth got a nice shine on it So get ready to start putting it together and putting the decals on once it cures for a day or so uh, We started working on the rudder which was broken off and I got uh, some brass wire pins put in to put it on and got it painted. We started doing some of the basic assembly. Got the landing gear struts on. Started painting the wheels and tires. We got the machine gun installed. Here in the next picture I took a used a flash so you can see into the cockpit area a little better. Um, and there's a few more pictures of an assembly going on. We started working on the rigging. I used the 11,000s guitar string like I used on the Stearman. We used that for the standing rigging on the landing gear and on the top wing. And we used Easy Line for the uh, control surfaces. We started putting those on because they're a little more flexible. Um, we started working the uh, decals. Decals were no issues. I've never had any problems with the Revell decals. Uh, got them on the, on the prop and the rudder. Got all the decals put on the fuselage, on the upper and lower wing surfaces. And I'll say all laid out real nice. And then we come to dump 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 the figures. God, I hate painting figures. Especially the faces. Uh, especially on these, the figures aren't real great to begin with. And I'm having real trouble trying to get that blue, green, gray, wool uniform color. A look on these I've got to go go through and get one more wash um, work on the faces a little bit more and then we'll call them done they probably won't display them with the with the plane but they're there anyway so there you go hey guys we'll do a quick update on the uh, YouTube modelers World War one buddy build I'm doing the uh, Revell 128 scale Fokker DR1 Dry Decker, our triplane, which is a uh, in the Red Baron, uh, Red Baron's paint scheme, Manfred von Richthofen, and uh, I'm gonna do a little progress report for you. As you can see, we started putting the decals on. I got got our decals put on the upper wing. And the uh, control rods are in. I still have to run the control cables for that. And obviously mount that. As you saw in the previous videos. Prop is all finished. I got the decal put on it. Put another, another last coat of clear on it. So it's all ready to go. Um. The figures, yeah, they're horrible. They really are. Um, but I'm going to soldier on with them. Let me kind of show you what we got here. Get him. Get him up here. This is one of the mechanics. And, uh, I hate doing figures. Anybody's watched my videos knows I hate doing figures. I'm actually really having, not only am I not, not having luck with doing faces, which is, I never seem to be able to get right. But, uh, I don't know if the colors will show here. I'm really having a tough time with Trying to match the the wool color for the uniforms. It was kind of a bluish gray. 
a little bit of a green tint. I watched the uh, the movie The Red Baron, the new one. And uh, actually, a lot of times, most of these guys were just wearing regular clothes. They weren't wearing the uniforms very often. Um, but I think I've got it was passable. So these figures really suck to begin with. So, but that's one of the mechanics. Still need to work on his face a little bit more. Um, there's the one. Here is the other one. Again, they're really terrible figures. I. Again, I'm doing wet mixes and dry brushing and all kinds of stuff to techniques to try and get that bluish gray green jacket wool jacket look and I don't think I'm having much luck with it but I think we're gonna call it what it is and they're gonna be what they're gonna be because uh, I'm tired of them so we got those I will go through and do a wash and um, an ochre wash or burnt uh, umber wash on their on their face to bring out a little bit more of the detail so that they show up a little better and finally here's Manfred this figure is a little better than the other two but not a whole lot I've got his white suit, and you were right, it was a pipe, not a cigarette. And his jacket. Um, trying to shoot for the look of the distressed leather. Uh, I think I'm pretty close. I'm not 100% happy with that either yet. And, uh, I need to do it again. I did do wash on, one wash on his face, but he probably need to do another one on him, or we can call him done. Okay, so that's where we're at on the figures. Good God. Let me disconnect this. talked about in the last video about how I broke the rudder off accidentally I kind of knew it was going to but broke it off so what I did we put in two small I'm going to focus here two pins with brass wire into the rudder drill corresponding holes in the fuselage so that this could be inserted in and we'll do that once we've got everything else done um, kind of bonus from that I can go in and bend those a little bit and I can so I can have the rudder offset a little bit so it won't be dead straight we can't put the one side which is bonus I guess so I knew it was gonna fall off because it was a, such a such a weak joint on the plastic to begin with but uh, kind of like pedo tubes on 148 scale plane you just kind of accept that you're gonna break it off while you're building it and you, that you're gonna replace it when it could, when you get done um, what else we've got let's see where we're at here basically other than that we're down to just doing final assembly uh, got gloss coat on our engine cowling I'm waiting for that to dry and the engine and engine is already completed waiting to go on um, all the other little parts and doodads 
there left are four. We've got, yeah, let me get our focus again. We've got two of the uh, wingtip skids to go on. And we've got the strut, that's the outer struts for the upper wing to go on. And we have the two struts, inner struts for the upper wing. And that's pretty much it. And some rigging. Uh, speaking of the rigging. Kind of the same uh, deal as I did with the uh, Stearman. I used some 011 guitar string, the 11 thousandths steel guitar string to do the uh, standing rigging for the for the landing gear and I'll do the same thing for the upper wing rigging there's just a one X bracing that goes up to the top wing when it's on we've got our Spandau machine guns are mounted painted we've got the leather around the edge of the uh, leather padding around the cockpit is done I know you can't see in there in the dark, but we've got our decals. Are all decals are all done? I see you see the there's our drilled the holes for the rudder. I'll slip that in there real quick. Well, of course now I can't do it when the pressure's on. I'll see that I don't want I don't push it all the way in until until we're ready to do it for final, but yeah, that, that's how that goes in there. Seeing our landing gear and everything's all done. I do have to go back and do one touch up. When I was putting the uh, tail strut in, the hole wasn't big enough and it split open my seam, which I got re-glued, but I'm gonna have to go back and touch that up. Sand it down and touch up the paint to uh, get rid of that seam that I cracked open. So, I figure this should probably probably will be done sometime tomorrow after I do my taxes. And we'll do the final assembly on on the poker. Uh, I might work on the figures a little bit more tonight or in the morning. Get them clear coated. I still have to put a clear coat on on the plane to it. Um, the only part the parts that are been clear coated are the uh, the prop and the cowling and the engine. So basically, everything else you see here still has to get a get a dull coat on it then we'll get it put together get the rigging in shouldn't take too long so we'll probably have a final reveal video up either tomorrow night Thursday night or Friday before I go to work I'll put it should have it up and ready that's been a pretty good bill it does take a little model sc modeling skill to make it turn out but hey that's what we do we're modelers just can't they all can't be shake the box so, until the uh, final reveal, fellas, have a good evening, keep warm, keep on the top side of the dirt, see ya.